Hi, I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements 15 and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in part five of our basic training with Premiere Elements 15. One of the most powerful toolkits in Premiere Elements is the adjustment package of tools. These are adjustments for cleaning up and fixing issues with your videos. So for instance, I can select a video on my timeline and you have to have a video selected in order to have access to adjustments. So make sure you select one. We'll position our playhead back here. This is actually a pretty good looking clip, but we can make some adjustments to it. Once it's selected, go over here to the top of the toolbar and click on the adjustments button. These are your adjustment options. You notice there's a smart fix and smart fix does some correction to say movement and jiggle. So it can take a video like this and automatically fix some things. And sometimes it does a pretty good job. Let's see what happens. We'll open this up and click on apply and see what it does. It's going to analyze the clip, look for what's going on in there and then make corrections to it. It may not do anything if it thinks it's a good clip, but let's see. It didn't find any problems in this clip. That's fine. There are other options here. Let's go ahead and close Smart Fix. There are Shake Reduction, which we'll look at in just a minute, and Auto Smart Tone. Um, for the most part, when you make adjustments using the Adjustment Panel, you can do it in a couple of ways. So I'm just going to select, for instance, Gamma Correction here. And you notice that we have these little, this little checkerboard thing. This is a quick preview fix, a Control Panel. If you don't feel comfortable using it, you can always click on more and there are sliders here you can use instead. But with the quick fix control panel, all you need to do is just kind of select any of these and the program will make adjustments, in this case, gamma correction, which is essentially lighting or brightness. And it can make adjustments for you based on the uh, selection you make. And clicking on the center one will take you back to zero here. You notice that once I have applied a adjustment, uh, you'll notice that I get a little green dot next to it here on the adjustments panel. Um, so I'm going to remove that so that it's not confused with other adjustments that I want to demonstrate with today. So I'm just going to click on the reset button and that removes whatever adjustment you made. We may choose lighting a little bit different than the gamma correction. And let's see what brightness does for that. We can select there we go, that's nice and bright. We'll jump over here to the contrast tab. We can increase the contrast. That makes it a little sharper. We can go over to the exposure tab and see how that adjustment affects things. And we've changed our picture a little bit here, right? So we can click on reset to undo what we've done. So as you can see, it's very simple and very intuitive to make adjustments to your video clips. Now this particular clip doesn't have a lot of jiggle in it, but if I play it, you see it bounces a little bit because of the movement of the train. I wanna show you this very cool shake reduction tool. Uh, just select the clip again on my timeline, go over here to shake reduction, open it up. There is a quick shake reduction and there's a detailed shake reduction. I haven't noticed a lot of difference um, in either how quickly the program analyzes the clip or how quickly it provides a solution. So I'm going to select detailed. Now what it's doing is it's looking at a point in the center of the clip. It's going to keep that point in the center of your video frame. And in order to do that, it's going to add some motion keyframes to the rest of the video frames. Now this is going to take all of the shake out of your video or as much as it can. It works very quickly and it actually does a very good job. And you notice that once it's done, it took us out of the adjustments panel. Now we're up in the applied effects panel where we can make some fine tuning adjustments to the shake reduction. But you, as you can see, if I play this clip, it's done a great job of taking the shake right out of that clip. Look how smooth that is. It almost looks like it was shot with a steady cam. Great job. Now the one challenge or the one liability with this tool is that in order to remove some of the shake, it needs to move the video around in your video frame. And in order to hide that, it needs to zoom in on your video frame and you can manually adjust how much it zooms in. So if we go over here to advanced, since we're on applied effects and we're working with the shake reduction effect, we can make some adjustments to it. Notice it's set for crop and smooth of 50%. I'm going to change that down. You can reduce that sometimes to as low as 10 or 15%, depending on how much movement there is in your video. So I'm gonna set it to 15%. And when I click on it, it there it is, it redid. Now look at the difference. I'm going to actually go back a second to where we were 
and I just want to turn off. I'm going to go up here to this eyeball and I'm going to turn off for a second the effect. This is the before picture. Look how far back we are from the center of the video and this is after shake reduction is added. So you can see it zoomed in quite a bit. I want to change this to 10%. Now we are a lot farther back. This is before, this is after and we're not losing quite as much resolution when we do that but yet still when i play this we've still taken a lot of shake out of this video look at this when i play this still very very smooth so we didn't sacrifice much so a lot of times if you play with this and you play with the level of crop versus smooth instead of using the default setting if you use a manual setting uh, you can often get the same results but without as much uh, reduction in quality or reduction in resolution. Anyway, all that's explained in the books and in our courses at moviepix.com. Be sure to check them both out. And I hope to see you in part six where we're going to play with some special effects in this program. I'm Steve Grizzetti. See you soon.